My name is Rafat Siddiqui and uh, I'm associate professor at uh, research station at Virginia State University. Uh, I'm basically directing a program in uh, nutrition science and food chemistry. So we're trying to uh, trying to figure out how various uh, things in fruits and vegetables demodulate human health. For example, you know, we have chronic diseases like diabetes, obesity, cancer, all these diseases are actually linked to eating kind of food which is not good, uh, like mostly like, you know, meat and, you know, uh, or high fat diet. We're trying to, and, and we know that in fruits and vegetables there are a lot of things which are beneficial. So we're trying to understand how those uh, components in fruits and vegetables, they modulate the disease processes. So we at, uh, at present what we're doing is that uh, we're looking for the effects of papaya. We've grown papaya in Randolph form. We're trying to understand how different components in papaya, like for, for example papaya leaves, papaya skin, papaya pulp, papaya seeds has any effect uh, on a different kind of cancer. So we have cellular models of breast cancer, colon cancer, we have uh, brain cancer and leukemia cancer. So we are testing all this fraction against different cancer cell lines. And we've got some interesting data. We found that you know, the leaves actually has very potent, uh, they are, have very high antioxidant activity, which unfortunately we don't eat. But a lot of uh, in cultures uh, and in, in, in like traditional medicine, people use papaya leaves, they boil the leaves and use the extract for curing a number of uh, diseases. So it was not a surprise that uh, we found activities in uh, leaves anti-cancer activity in, in leaves especially. And uh, other stuff we're doing, you know, in Randolph form, we have ginger and uh, turmeric. We're trying to understand the, the, uh, how the chemicals in those produce affects uh, things like obesity. So we're in investigating that and then uh, and the produce we're working on is uh, prunes. And uh, prunes are, we found that they are very good for uh, uh, diabetes. They are, uh, they have a high, they have sorry, low hypoglycemic, they have low glycemic index. It means when you eat it, your blood glucose or blood sugar does not shoot up quickly, it goes slowly. And it has activity which uh, basically inhibit processes which, uh, uh, which are helpful for uh, preventing diabetes. We are also partnering with the Virginia Commonwealth University. Uh, we are trying to uh, understand the mechanism through which papaya actually, we found the papaya also has a wound healing activity. And, uh, and Virginia Commonwealth University is a big center for tissue repair. So we're collaborating with them to understand uh, the mechanism and, uh, and trying to uh, basically figure out if we can make something out of papaya which can be beneficial for wound healing especially in diabetic patients because they have problem for wound healings. Yeah, there are great opportunities. In fact, uh, at present I have like uh, seven graduate students who are working on different projects and uh, last summer I have uh, actually three undergraduate students. They work on uh, like chia seeds and uh, chickpea seeds and uh, and they look for their uh, nutrition, nutritive values. Uh, we investigated how uh, we can use uh, the composite from uh, like in a Fort Lee base, which you know they make the composite from their waste food and we use that composite to grow things like green beans and tomatoes in Randolph form and we found that the, the produce which grow on using the composite is very much similar what we buy in the market. So there's a way to best utilize the waste for, for a good purpose. Extending knowledge, changing lives.